There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And this is Project Neptune. And we can see some beautiful EGA graphics. And look, people are parachuting into the sea. Well, that's an exciting start, isn't it? And that looks like some sort of speeder. My goodness. There's another guy on a speeder, and it's a disagreement over some sort of policy, perhaps. All right, this is an exciting introduction. And, oh, look, it's, it's a sort of film thing going on as well. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll skip on, shall we? Epix presents Project Neptune from 1989. Infograms. Okay. Loading. Choose our level. So we got level one, level two, or level three. Pretty self-explanatory. Let's go with level one. And we have a first person, and we're moving. We're in motion. I uh, don't want to hit those rocks. Let's go this way. This is not a land speeder. We we can stop using the arrow keys. And, oh, we're gonna, yeah, we ran into something there. But unlike a previous game, that doesn't seem to shatter our windshield or anything. We can shoot with the space bar. That's helpful. You die. All right. What is this? It looks like we're on some sort of alien planet or something. There's a timer in the top right-hand corner telling us how long we've been on this alien world. Can we destroy the rocks? Yes. So let's just head on, I guess. Into nowhere. Into nothingness. Forever. Now, you'd have thought maybe in the intro there, there would have been more, you know, telling us. You need to head... Uh, in the direction of 225 and uh, do this for some reason but uh, without any context I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing there's definitely a sort of uh, sci-fi theme to it here alert alert we've run into something here there's something following our, our craft I think I blew it up, I'm not sure. So there was some sort of enemy. You know what it reminds me a little of? Uh, you know those uh, Wing Commander games, uh, Privateer? It's got sort of that view screen going on that reminds me of Privateer. Like you're waiting for the top right hand corner, so some, some transmission to come in and sort of say, hey, you've got to go and do this. But uh, without any context, it's uh, proving somewhat difficult. Oh! There we go. App apparently that's over. There's our status report. We destroyed no patrols. We destroyed no bases. And none of our bases were destroyed either. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go to level 2. And level 2 is looking a lot like level 1. Now, our scanner in the right-hand corner came up with something there. Not entirely sure what. It looked like some sort of craft or base or something. But I couldn't tell you. Those just look like trees or something. Apparently they're not enemies. So we're just gonna keep rolling on until we find something objectionable. I wonder, does M cause a map or F1, F2, F3? Nope, it's just the arrow keys. So, we'll just have a look around us. There's some beeping going on. Um, not much else happening. I don't see anyone approaching. What is that? Oh! That is something. Uh, is something firing at us, perhaps? Is that what's go going on here? It's very unclear, you know? And the reason for that, for those random people who haven't watched, you know, in the past, the reason for that 
is because these games expected you to read a manual, you know, to figure out what it was that was going on by reading rather than having a million and one tooltips in game. I don't see anyone and that's it. Now, presumably whatever that was destroyed us. That's unfortunate, but that's that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Shall we go on to level three? I think not. So what is this? It's a first person action game of sorts where you drive around attempting to destroy bases and things. It's very primitive, but it's of its time, you know? It was released in the late 80s, so my expectations weren't sky high or anything like that. I mean, if you read the manual and figured out what you were trying to do, then sure, I think if you enjoyed like tank-based games or, you know, general action games from that era, you might get, uh, you know, a few minutes of enjoyment out of Project Neptune. It uh, didn't really wow me, but at the same time, nothing about it was all that objectionable. The only thing was, I should have read the manual, and I don't do that, I go in blind, obviously. So yeah, that's Project Neptune. Not too bad. And if you like me randomly playing DOS games, I do it a lot. I have hundreds of other videos, feel free to take a look, and if you like what you see there, you can always hit subscribe. But yes, that's enough uh, visits to Neptune, I believe. Back to Earth with us. Until next time. Doodle Pip.